No han podido entrar los demás. Hello, good evening. How are Hello. you? I am fine. Great. Good to hear that. Glad to hear that. Hello, hello. Good night, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Say good evening, everybody. Say something on the chat. A ver, escriban un nice message en el chat. I'm glad to see you. I hope you're fine. Welcome to the class. Let's practice something nice. Algo motivador in English, of course, okay? On the chat. <laughs> Vamos a ver quién lo hace primero. Vamos a ver el más rápido. Welcome to the class from Fernando. Nice. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Somebody else? Somebody else? Uh -huh. Pueden usar los emojis as well. Nice to see you. Let's practice. Time to speak English. Say something nice. Right on the chat. A ver esos dedos, dos fingers. To chat, okay? To type a nice message. You got it? Oh, just a reaction from Jessica, Mary Lou. Mm -hmm. From Carrie. I like speaking English. Good. All right. Good evening from Roxana. Good evening from Nuria Karina. Uh -huh. I'm happy to see you. Hello, everybody. Come on, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can do it. Yes. Uh -huh. Good evening, Teresa. Nice. Cameras on. Remember, cameras on. I like the rain. It's raining. Damaris, it's raining in your house. Here it started like drizzling, but it is stopped. Mm -hmm. So, so, a little bit. Okay. All right. What else? What else? What else? Tell me more. Tell me more. Or somebody wants to say good evening on the microphone, and that's okay. That's perfect. Uh -huh. Somebody wants to say good evening on the microphone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, you? I'm okay. I'm doing great, thank God. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Welcome thank to you. the class. How are you? All right. Nice to see you. Nice. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, everybody. Hello, everyone. Yes. Great. Okay, are we ready for the attendance? Yes? Ready. Ready. All right. It's a pleasure to learn with all of you. Nice. It's a pleasure for us too. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, today is Tuesday, right? Ana Raquel? Not here. Oh my God. Brian, Giovanni, not here. Brian Stanley. Present. 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 Carlos. Present. Present. Present teacher. Hi, Carlos. Damaris. Present teacher. Hi. David. Uh, here, teacher. Hello. Eduardo. Present teacher. Hi. Edwin. Teacher. Hi. Stephanie. Present. Hi. Uh, Fatima. Esmeralda. 
Listen, teacher. Hello, Fatima Lourdes. No yet. No se ha logrado conectar. Fernando. Fernando, Fernando, por ahí vía Fernando. ¿no? Fernando, Fernando Mendoza. Mm, Present. Yes. Solo, solo, solo hay un Fernando. Yes, sir. Fernando okay, Arturo okay. Mendoza, right. Ok, ok. Don't worry. Present. Ajá. Uh, Isabó. Present. Hi. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, no yet. Jeremías. Present teacher. Hi. Jessica Janet. Hello, Jessica. Jessica Janet is Jesse Sanchez. Mm -hmm. uh, puesto en el grupo de que no va a poder estar porque está trabajando aún. Oh, sorry. Ok, Karen. Y, y Fátima, Fátima Girón, de igual, ha dicho de que se encuentra con migraña en el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. It's true. Bueno, después le voy a poner el, el comentario. Thank you for reminding me. Karen. Present. Ok, Lourdes. Present. Hi, Marcos. Present, teacher. Hi, Nurian, Karina. Present teacher. Hi, Pablo Josué. Present teacher. Hi, Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Hi, Teresa. Present Miss. Hi, Verónica. No yet. All right. Victor. Present teacher. Hi, and Jessica is la chica que tiene la situación, verdad? It's me, teacher. Oh, how are you? Not so good. Okay, Jessica Marilu here. Okay, don't worry. Stay calm, okay? Good. Well, let's keep practicing. Let's keep practicing. Let me just, oh yes, I have the PowerPoint right here. Let me share the screen. One second, please. This is our class, yes, number two. Okay, let me see if I can just move right here. So, yes, we're gonna keep practicing affirmative and negative sentences in simple present, okay, describing habits, routines, activities that we normally do, that we repeat every day. So this is what we're gonna say, say the time that you usually get up, okay? Those are, okay, how you feel? So you gotta say how you feel. How are you doing? How are you? Okay, this is something just to share. Solo para que le pregunten a su compañero cómo está. Hello, how are you? How do you feel? I'm fine. How are you? How about you? Okay. So just to greet your partner. Solo para que interactúen y le pregunten a su partner cómo se siente, cómo está. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Yes. All right. Perfect. Yes. Here we go. Y 
¿Verdad? ¿Cómo? ¿What? Es um, H. Este. Este es el que, el que cocina. ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. I, uh, I am chef. You? Um, hijo. Ah, no. Um, técnica de enfermería. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no speak in English. Okay. Yes. And you? I am from Soyapango. Oh, uh -huh. no conozco, pero. <laughs> <laughs> And you? Isao. Is, Isao. Elizabeth. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Santa Tecla. Oh, I see. <laughs> Um, how do you feel, Elizabeth? Worried mm -hmm. and frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> Tired, también. <laughs> what are you doing right now? ¿Cómo? What are you doing right now? Ay, no sé qué dijo. <laughs> ¿Qué están haciendo en este momento? And you? I am eating uh, uh -huh. yeah. um, for, uh, <laughs> yeah, más cuatro aquí. Este, ah, yeah. ¿Cómo podríamos? Hacer? Hay cuatro. Jeremia, yo, bueno, eso fue Jeremia, pero está nuestra instructora. Pero estamos. Did you talk? Did you speak? Hola. Um, hello. Hello. Ah. How are you? I'm fine. Hello. How are you? Uh, I am fine. Too. I'm fine, thank you. All right, great. Happy to hear that. Nah. All right. How do you feel? So, so. So, so, why? Eh, oh. eh, no sé cómo decir, por el trabajo, por the work. Because eh, of the work, I'm, I'm very tired. Uh-huh, tired. No energy. No battery. Low battery. Never. <laughs> I know. Never energy. I know. I understand. Y, y para decir que está, cuando, por ejemplo, ahorita está haciendo calor. It's very hot. It's very hot. It's very, hot. very hot. Ah, yes. Actually, I have my fan because. If not, I feel like desperate. It's really hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> All Okay, we're waiting for the rest of the class to return. Here they are. Well, I hope you take advantage of the time you had to share with your partners. Okay, 
They say hello, how are you? How are you doing? How do you feel? Yes. How are you doing? It's another question to ask how are you, okay? So I hope you can interact a little bit with your partners, not only with the content from the class, but naturally conversations, right? Natural conversations about your day, about the way you feel. That is awesome as well. Okay, um, let me share the screen so that we can keep practicing the topics that we started practicing yesterday. And remember the conversation about Jason's car. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't Jason's car. So it's nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Is it is it Jason's car? Mm -hmm. Is it Jason's car? No. Is? No. 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 His sister's car, right? It's his sister's. It's not Jason's car. It's his sister's car. Why she has a new car? Because she has a new job. She has a new job and now she drives to work. She drives to work. She needs to drive probably. She has a new job and it's not near, so she needs a car to go to work, right? That's why Ashley asks, is her job here in the suburbs? And he says, no, it's downtown. It's downtown. So her new job is far probably, right? So she needs a car. She needs to go to that job and the job is far from the house, it's not in the suburbs, it's in downtown. So she needs to drive a car. Okay, so that's great. That's what we did yesterday. So this is only a review. Okay, of course, there's something we're going to take into consideration for the simple present. The simple present, obviously, as all the tenses, como todos los tiempos, y los tiempos existen en español y existen en cualquier otro idioma, ok? It's not que solo en English. They exist en todos los idiomas. Necesitamos hablar en present, en past, or in future, right? So, in simple present, in English, of course, tenemos oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas, yes no questions and of course yes or no answers right aquí aún nos faltan los wh questions pero solo vamos a dar un poquito después so i cook o sea, say, i cook or i don't cook o sea, es eso alguno de mis hábitos o no lo es i cook mm, i cook i cook on the weekends i sometimes cook dinner yes or you don't cook I do not cook. Entonces necesitamos el auxiliary do not. Pero este do not lo podemos contractar. Y decimos I don't cook. Que es lo más común, lo más rápido. Usar contractions. Obviously, las contractions no es que esté incorrecto. Pero son mucho más común para hablar que para escribir. Why? Porque en escritura, si usted fuera a escribir algo digamos un documento y es algo muy formal o es algo oficial entonces no se debe abusar de las contractions de hecho se sugiere no usarlas sino que poner cada okay. palabra por separado ¿Okay? ok pero a la hora de speaking es very common <coughs> y a la hora de listening usted quiere entender lo que alguien está hablando sobre todo si es una persona con un english native que es hablante nativo del idioma va a usar a lot of contractions and probably no solo estas que son como las más common right yo voy a usar muchas otras que probably were not very familiar with but they are very common in speaking entonces yes Karen ¿por qué se le agrega la s cuando se dice he she it se sí. le agrega la s al verbo exacto es una regla gramatical que se dice que para la tercera persona el verbo se le debe agregar ese. 
Most of the time, la gran mayoría de veces. Es porque es la tercera persona, entonces, third person singular, el verbo lle debe llevar una S. Si termina en SH o CH o X, se le va a agregar ES, no solo S. ¿Ya? Si termina en CH, SH, los sonidos son como ch, ch, or X. Por eso el sonido de CH, SH, or X. Se le agrega example, e S. ES. Watch, watches. Fix, fixes. Pero solo para he, she, it. Y solamente en affirmative. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Acá podría ser en lugar de cooks cualquier otro verbo. Yes. Play, dance, study, run, exercise, any other verb. Pero siempre cuando sea la third person singular, se le va a agregar S or ES. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Es that clear? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Bye. Si ustedes se fijan, en la forma negative también son tres de los pronombres que no voy a decir do not or don't. Ahí en ese caso voy a decir. Does. Exacto. Does not or doesn't. 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 Exactly. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I don't play, you don't play, I don't speak, we don't speak, pero a la hora de he, she, and it, voy a decir, doesn't. My mother doesn't speak English. My father doesn't use the computer. Yes? O sea, y no es que necesariamente tiene que decir he, she, la oración, pero si yo estoy hablando de una persona, de una tercera persona en singular, Puede ser my father, my brother, my sister, my nephew, my niece, my neighbor. Cualquier persona. Yo sé que al ponerla en pronombre es he or she. ¿ya? Sé que es él o ella. Entonces va a ser doesn't. ¿Yes? Y luego siempre va a estar seguido por el verbo. ¿Yes? Obviously, the simple present se usa para describir hábitos, rutinas o cosas que regularmente ocurren. O cosas que son... Verdades generales, ¿yes? Como por, como por ejemplo que es, if, si llueve, se moja en la tierra, ¿verdad? So that is a general truth. O como que el sol sale todas las mañanas, tenga, ¿verdad? Entonces esas cosas que son verdades o datos ya reales, entonces esos son en simple present. O sea, es como para escribir algo bien general. Algo que siempre ocurre, algo que es un hábito, una rutina. Ok. Acá lo tengo así explicado para que ustedes también vean cómo voy a iniciar la question. Con el mismo auxiliary que hice la negative sentence. Yes. Si yo le quiero preguntar, ¿usted trabaja? Do you work? Does she work? Does she cook? Con el mismo auxiliary que cree la negative sentence, obviously a la negative sentence le puse not porque es algo negativo, pero con el mismo auxiliary voy a iniciar la question. Do you have a sister? Do you eat pasta? Cualquier Question que yo quiera hacer acerca de que si es eso cierto acerca de otra persona o does he, does she, does your mother speak English, does your father have a car, yes, con ese mismo auxiliary que se hace el negative, que se hace la question, voy a responder y digo yes I do. Yes, you do. Yes, she does. Yes, he does. Okay, y ven. It's the same auxiliary. O, en el caso de responder de forma negativa, también. No, I do not. 
or no, I don't. No, you do not, or no, you don't. De la misma manera, ¿ok? Esto es estructura, pero si nosotros en realidad queremos hablar correctamente, pues tenemos que aplicarlo. Yo sé que son bastantes detallitos, pero en medida los vayamos poniendo en práctica, lo, nos va a salir de forma mucho más natural. All right. Let's see. ¿Cuáles son las questions más fáciles de hacer? Do you. Do you, porque usted está hablando con otra persona directamente. Do you live in San Salvador? Do you have a car? Do you study English? Do you have a job? Do you take the bus to work? Yes, do you? Es lo más fácil. Entonces, y como usted responde acerca de usted mismo, dice, yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes. Vamos a escribir three questions como si le estuviéramos preguntando algo directamente a alguien en el chat usando do you. Y cualquier verbo que se les ocurra. Yes. Do you have a computer? Do you have a pet? Do you live in a house? Do you drive to work? Do you eat breakfast at work? Do you study at the university? Do you have a brother? Do you have a sister? Do you play a sport? Whatever question. Ahorita los leo en el chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see the questions. Do you do you have a house? Have a house? Do you speak English? Do you have a car? Mm -hmm. Remember, do D O do you eat pizza? Y el question mark, que no se les olvide. Do you have a cell phone? The question mark. Do you like dogs or cats? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like learning English probably? Okay. Do you have pets? Do you have a book? No se les puede olvidar el question mark. Do you eat chicken? Do you drink milk? <laughs> uh huh. No ven a decir, do you have money, please? Because we don't have money. All right. <laughs> okay. Do you play a sport? Do you play an instrument? Do you watch television? Do you cook Italian food? Any question? Si fuera un dato real acerca de nosotros, diríamos, yes, I do. Pero si eso no nos aplica, decimos, no, I don't. Right? So, yes, I do. No, I don't. So, lo más sencillo para responder. Do you play soccer? Do you sleep in a bed? All right. What else? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Do you work on Mondays? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Do you need a bag? No, I don't. I have some bags. Do you run every day? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you study? Do you like studying? Do you study? Probably. Do you study at the university? Do you have children? Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right. Okay. So that would be like the easiest way to ask a yes, no question in simple present. Obviously, ahí va a depender si yo le quiero saber algo directamente de la persona a quien le pregunto o si quiero que esta persona me diga algo de alguien más de una tercera persona y ahí donde entra el das das your mother das your father das your brother das any other person okay that's how it works okay thank you i have still two more messages and they say do you want water do you like black color that's great that's awesome Ah, wait a minute, vamos a regresar para borrar los, las anotaciones and we're going to cl uh, clear all the drawings. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. En affirmative, aquí sería, acuérdense de la S, he takes the bus, right? Pero para el caso de la segunda picture, ¿cómo diríamos? An affirmative sentence. 
Do they play soccer? They play soccer. They play football. Soccer or football is the same thing, all right? <laughs> so for Americans, it's soccer. For British, it's football. All right, for the third picture. Mm -hmm. He is a student. He is a student could be correct. But necesitamos un verbo de acción. He is, él es. So that is a correct sentence, pero necesitamos an action verb. Para agregarle la S, recuérdense. <laughs> she writes a uh, homework. He writes a homework. He completes a homework. He does his homework. Yes. He studies English. So, eso es un action verb. Obviously, estamos... Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Estamos usando verbos de acción, right? Okay. In negative, he doesn't take the bus. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar que necesito para la segunda picture? Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't. They don't play football. What about for the next one? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't study English. Right. Okay. So take that into account. I take that into consideration. Okay. Let me just go ahead and finish this. Okay. Give me one second. I just need to repeat. Okay. Karen, do you still have a question? Do you have a question? Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, perfect. Que veo que se quedó con la mano arriba, no sé. So sí, I don't pero want... no sé cómo quitarlo. Really? Yo se la bajo, don't worry. <laughs> I, I thought you still had a question. <laughs> don't worry. Give me one second. I need to share the screen one more time. Ahorita les comparto. I share lo que les explicaba de para la tercera persona, el spelling. Okay? Algunos verbos simplemente se le agrega S en affirmative. Obviously, a todos los verbos en tercera persona, en simple present, se les va a agregar algo. Eso, for sure, va a cambiar. No va a ser igual. I, you, we, they, no problem. But he, she, it, there's something different, ¿ok? So, let me share the okay. screen. Aquí están las reglas de spelling para esto. Déjenme mostrar esto más grande. Acá está. Dice que la gran mayoría de los verbs... Se le agrega S, simple, right? Talk, talks, drive, drives, no problem. A estos verbos que terminan en double S, aquí en realidad los sonidos son S, X, sh, O, en el caso de do, se convierte en does, go, se convierte en goes, y digo, my friend goes to school, yes? My son does his homework. Y los que terminan en Y, precedidas por una consonant, yes, va a cambiar I y S. Pero si termina en Y, precedida por una vowel, o sea, precedida por una consonante, cambia la Y, se convierte en I y S. Pero si está precedida por una vowel, simplemente pongo la S y ya. ¿This clear? Mm. ¿Alguna question? Is there any question? No questions? O sea, dice que en el presente simple, eh, cuando algún verbo, bueno, 
si es de, de hablamos de, de tercera persona, le vamos a agregar S. Si el verbo termina en W o X, los que están ahí, uh -huh. le vamos a poner ES. ES, exactly. Por eso, uh -huh. está, por eso les da el ejemplo de fix, que termina en X, y a fixes. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, de wash. Aquí sería uh -huh. she washes, or he washes, or watch, or go. Sería goes. Solo en afirmativo, ¿verdad? Solo en afirmativo a la tercera persona. He, she, it. Los demás no pasa nada. Okay. Estos son como los caprichos del idioma. Okay? Son things that we have to know. Yes? Sí. Como okay. detallitos, but we need to know. They are important. Okay? Obviously, if we want to speak uh, academic, or English. Maybe some people don't use these rules, but they don't sound very well. So we need to use them. We need to put them into practice when we speak. Yes. Si gustan, yo les voy a compartir la, la picture. Solo que me recuerdan at the end of the class. So if you don't need to copy. Okay, no problem. Remind me. Okay. Yes, porque les va a tomar a long time to copy. All right. Here we have another conversation. See what happened. Uh -huh. We have Jack and Amy. Amy, right. And he says, let's go to the park on Sunday. Amy answered, okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Ya cuando ella le dice, I sleep late on weekends, ella sabe que ah, es un hábito que ella tiene. O sea, lo está escribiendo con una oración en simple process. I sleep late on weekends. Let's go in the afternoon. Okay. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, well, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Lo que les decía las questions. ¿Es un hábito tuyo el desayunar? Los lunes, a I mí mean, los domingos, si te levantas al mediodía. Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Yes. One more time. <laughs> okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Imagine breakfast at 1 p.m. That's not breakfast anymore. I think mm -hmm. that's lunch, right? <laughs> it's very late. Okay. Let's see. I won't take the opportunity for you to practice. No se preocupen. I'll share this screen. Voy a hacer otros grupos para que practiquen con alguien más. And let's recreate 10 groups for everybody to have the opportunity. Probably you're going to be in pairs. Solamente se me queda acá. Karen, que la vamos a mover al room 9. So that she has somebody to practice. Okay. Okay. Ya está. Vaya, este quiero ver. 
ya la puedes ver en... Yes, en WhatsApp. Bueno, vaya, entonces empezás. Ok. Uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Oh, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay. Change the role. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. Let's meet at his restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Vaya, hoy voy a hacer yo ya aquí. Tú. Hey. Yo, Emi, ok. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, but let's go in the, in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They deserve breakfast all day. Practicamos otra vez. Vaya. ¿Quién va a ser el Jack? ¿Cómo? Ah. Va a ser Bye. Jack. Yo voy a ser Jack. ¿Con quién empiezo? Voy a ser Emi. Ok. Papi. Bueno. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get uh, get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Breakfast. Breakfast yeah. every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay. Uh-huh. Vamos a hacerlo de nuevo. Este, puedo empezar yo y... ¿Quién? ¿Yo? Ah. Vaya. Ok. Eh, voy. Ok, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get, do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh. Can't early on Sunday. I get up at now. At noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, okay. Ahora con Victor. Pero si querés, para que digas las dos, yo puedo ser Jack y vos lees lo de Amy. Okay, para que digas parece, las dos partes. Me parece. Dale, dale, dale. Dale. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Uh -huh. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Uh, ok, but let's go in the afternoon I sleep late I sleep late What time do you get up on Sundays? Para, para, para. Dale, dale. 
Uh, at, at 10 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, that's really on Sundays I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. Did you finish? Yes. Any question? Any difficult word? Difficult expression? Difficult question? No? Me cuesta con la pronunciación de desayuno. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Do you have breakfast on Sunday? También en la última parte, teacher, donde uh -huh. Uh, they serve the breakfast. Ah, it's they, served. they serve, serve. Serve. Uh -huh. serve. Como de la, the, the. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Que sirven desayunos todo el día. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other? Hay algo más que necesiten practicar? Anything else? Any other expression? Any other doubts? Any other question? Lo demás, cool. Chilling. All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Actually, that's a funny word in English. You say, oh, everything cool. Okay. Voy a hacer unas questions. Permítame, vamos a ver. Vamos a compartir la pantalla para que ustedes puedan... Uh, hold on. Here. Hmm, this is an activity we have. But let me just change into this. Okay. Let's skip it. De las questions que tenemos aquí, voy a hacer algunas questions. Pero la idea no es que me la respondan on the microphone, sino que escriban la respuesta. Okay. For example, si yo les pregunto, do you get up early on Sundays? Solo tienen dos possible answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. A ver, ¿quién le escribe más rápido? Do you get up early on Sundays? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. That was Eduardo. <laughs> And David, yes, I do. Okay. Esa es una costumbre. Es un hábito para ustedes. Levantarse temprano on Sunday. Okay. Next question. Ya la de get up early on Sunday ya no cuenta. Next question. Do you eat breakfast every day yes i do no i don't oh yes i do okay good ah stop ya no vale esta next question do you walk to work no i don't yes i do yes to stop bye solo una pequeña observación In English, me podrían decir ustedes, ay, teacher, pero es que yo escribí y estaba correcto. Yes, yo entiendo. Perfecto. El yes I do tiene que ser así. Inicial mayúscula, después del yes, coma, y el pronombre I siempre, forever, always, tiene que estar en capital. Después del do va un punto. Toda esa punctuation es necesaria. Si no, yo entiendo, pero porque yo soy... A mí, yo soy hablante de español y sé todas las dificultades que tenemos con esto de las reglas, ¿verdad? Con esto de que no, no nos interesa mucho la ortografía. Pero en inglés es súper estricto. Por lo tanto, ¿cómo sería el no I don't? Como se imaginarán, inicial mayúscula, coma después del no el capital I y punto después, I'm sorry, que lo puse todo en capital, exacto, ahí está, como Karen lo acaba de poner, ya no lo pongo porque Karen lo dijo, exactly, capital N, 
coma afternoon, capital I, and period, punto después del don't. Thank you, Karen. ¿Ok? Entonces, siempre. Como ustedes lo estaban poniendo, yo lo entiendo, les decía. Pero no es la forma correcta. Sobre todo en writing, en escritura. Acá yo lo entiendo porque yo aprendí también y mi idioma natal no es el inglés. Pero en caso de que ustedes vayan a tratar con alguien que sí, su native language es English, la forma de escribirlo es así. Tiene que llevar todos esos. Capital letter, lo de las letras mayúsculas es regla, es así must, no es opcional. Siempre que voy a iniciar una oración, la primera letra tiene que ser capital letter. El pronombre I jamás se puede poner en minúscula. Es como que usted no sienta respeto por usted mismo. Y al terminar algo, siempre pongo un punto. Al terminar la oración, ya sea afirmativo, negative o esta short, 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 short answer. Por eso les dije que lo escribieran acá en el chat, para que fuera más fácil de dar el feedback. ¿Ok? ¿Hay alguna question? ¿Is there any question? Of course, esto no se mira a la hora de hablar, ¿verdad? Usted dice, yes, I do, no, I don't. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, eso no lo, no lo ve. Pero a la hora de escribir, it is very necessary. It's very important. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿No questions con esto? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Porque si sure. a alguien todavía no le queda claro, lo podemos repetir. No problem. Bye. Perfect. Bye, déjenme... Solo checo algo acá, and I share the screen again. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is just to practice a little bit of vocabulary. Y ustedes me van a decir qué activities ven. What are the activities? Ajá. Study. Study, de todo lo que está acá. Take a class. Take a class. Sure, yeah. el libro está. Ya, yeah? va. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Watching TV. Watching TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Great. Correct. Uh -huh. Do the laundry. laundry. Do the laundry. Do Go shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. Really? You sure? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Here. Do homework. Work. 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 What? Clean the house. Clean the house. Go online. Go online. Go online. Go online. Go online. That's right. Make, make, make phone, phone calls. Make, make phone calls. Make phone calls. Phone calls. Phone calls. Yes. Uh, phone calls. Mm -hmm. Play, 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 sport. play sport. sport. Play sport. Play sport. Try different sports. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Exercise. Oh my God. <laughs> And. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Correct. Oof. Bravo, you got it all correct. Okay, great. Déjenme, just one minute, please. I need to finish this. One second. Just double checking. Vamos a corroborar lo de nuestra attendance. Si hay alguien que luego se incorporó, por favor, me lo hace saber. Yo, teacher, este, justo cuando iba a empezar a pasar la primera asistencia, me, me desconecté. Yo Jocelyn. Sí. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, I'm sorry, Jocelyn, thank you. Thank you, teacher. ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? 
Jessica era la del, la del problema de migraña, ¿verdad? Jessica Janet. No, no, no era no. Fátima. Fátima. Ah, era Fátima, perdón. Ah, era Fátima Lourdes. Yes. Fátima Lourdes. Uh -huh. Sí. Y Jessica, tenemos dos Jessica entonces. Sí, ¿verdad? Jessica Marilu y Jessica Janet. Entonces, mmm, Jessica Janet no, no se presentó. Ella es la del, la del que la estaba del trabajo. trabajando. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. ¿Verónica? ¿No se logró conectar? No, de Verónica no sabe. De Verónica sí no. Bueno, para mayor referencia voy a poner acá un color para recordarme. Y acá. Ok. Vamos a un different color. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Okay. Bueno. It's almost time. Do you have any question? No? no. Perfect. Okay, keep practicing. Keep practicing and studying the simple present. Remember there are a lot of details. Affirmative, negative, yes, no questions, okay? De algo que generalmente ocurre, de algo que es un hábito, de algo que es una costumbre nuestra, de algo que nos toca hacer como parte de nuestra rutina, de nuestras actividades diarias. Those are the activities that we describe with the simple press. And you say, oh, I work every day, I study here, I do this, I do that. So those are the actions that require to be described with the simple press. All right? All right. Okay. Right. okay, may God bless you. Have See a you good tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Good night. Tonight's good very night. hot. Good night. 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 Good night.